this brand with brands PC help and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cool um, text effect in this game tutorial plus I'm um, going to show you how to make glass buttons like the one you see down here with um, RK launcher so let's get started so first I'm just going to close this um, document and make a new one I'm not going to save it Okay, so you gotta come up to File, New, click New. You can make it whatever size you want. Um, advance. You can keep it. You can do whatever you want. You can do transparency. You can do white. Um, I'm just gonna do. I'll just do transparency for now. Um, actually, I think I might color the background black. Yeah. Um, select your text tool or the default key is T obviously and um, since I'm using the newest version of GIMP um, you have to draw out your text area um, so I'm just gonna make my text um, no, this doesn't work with all text. It only works for a certain text. Um, I find it works with Sagu Print, I think it is. Really good. So that's what I'm going to use. So select whatever text you want. Make sure it's not the bold, because you got to use the bold later. Okay, so I'm going to bump up the size a bit to maybe 30. So I'm going to type in... Brandon's P C help. Okay, I'm just gonna move this over here a bit, resize it, and make the color white. Okay, just close this. Um, duplicate that layer. Then take the bottom layer, as you see, the very bottom layer, make, the, make sure I select it, lock the top one, and hide it, so you'll, you're only w working with the behind layer. Now, come up to, so now that you're on the bottom layer, you gotta make that text, well, make sure you have that text selected. Oh, you know when selected when this text error comes up. Um, so make it bold now, and change the color to something more vibrant. I find, I find purple is a good color. So hit OK. Now you can just close that. Now come up to filter, blur, and this blur right here. I find 5 is a really good blur as you see Let's hit OK now unlock and unhide the top layer that makes a pretty cool effect but it's kind of like I don't know it just goes from white to suddenly purple so I find just take to help that just pick the first layer go up to filter and select the same blur just blur and then this one I'm not sure how to pronounce it and instead of 5 I suggest only 1 for the blur hit OK and as you see that makes really nice effect so this is how to make a really cool effect with your text but um, after you do this you cannot edit that text anymore it will not edit it so all I do is I just merge down so two layers are one so the text is one layer and I'll just center this maybe just put this up here and now I'll show you how to make these cool glass buttons so first um, take your eclipse tool um, I'll just show you how to make this little ring around it really quick. 
draw out a circle. I always like my circles to be exactly round. So you can come over to here, size, make sure each size is the exact same. Once it is, take your um, gradient tool and select gradients and um, see which one's a nice one. Um, so let me see here. I find crown molding is a half decent one. Now start just a little bit outside your circle and go up till it's a little bit outside your circle again. isn't the best tool in the world so just give it a second okay now go up to select go to shrink and maybe shrink it by seven Hit okay now inside this one now let's make a purple one. You can make whatever color you want. Or actually I'll make this tor turquoise color. So um this select this turquoise color right here. Hit OK. Now for your background color, select that turquoise, only make it a lot darker. Like almost till it's a crappy, not very nice color. Hit OK. Now your gradient, come back over to your gradient tool of course, and your gradient is got to be FG to BG, this one right here, select it, liner, make sure it's radial, and now go from the center, what looks like the center, and drag out to the edge, like that. Now to unselect it just press shift control A that should be the default unselect tool and take your eclipse tool again make a circle put it just about at the top like right there is good like right there is really good now um do your foreground color as completely white. Now select your gradient tool again and go to FG to transparent. Now go to the almost top of the, um, the selected circle and drag down to the very bottom of it. And then hit Shift Control A. And that makes a pretty good color or circle no I rush this though so it doesn't look absolutely the best but actually hit control Z to undo undo again set of radial go to liner again I forgot to do that and actually I might just drag down circle just a little bit more till it's in the center go your gradient tool again and drag down and hit shift control A to unselect and that looks much better so this brands PC help um, please rate comment and subscribe if my videos helped you then and this is it how to make a do some cool effects with the GIMP without having to buy Photoshop okay goodbye and happy computing goodbye